Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to another video. Now, today it is time to get some more compost out of the compost bin. And in September 2021, I took down a willow tree that we had in our garden. And what I did to try and share with you an easy way to remove a tree is placed over a compost bin over the stump and used that for the time being. And it's time today to see how much we've still got left in there and the compost we're going to use on some of the other beds. So let's go find out. All right, well, this is the compost bin in question. So what we need to do is lift it up and see what we have remaining. Right, well, I've removed all the compost and I've used that to complete the bed that I'm building, one of the new beds. And as you can see, the stump of this willow tree is still here, but it's definitely dead. It's been 18 months underneath this compost heap. So is it gonna come out easy? Yeah, I mean, look at that. That's just really coming out of the ground. Without any problem at all you know this was a big old willow tree when it came in so for it to do this or come out of ground this easy would have taken me a lot of digging to even try and remove it it's just a shame we can't repeat this out the front the only thing that might be a bit difficult is this root here because it goes underneath a bed. That's just snapped. There we go. Well, that has got that tree stump taken out of the uh, garden. We've zero dig, or virtually hardly any digging. Just a lot of patience. 18 months with a compost bin over top, and it's just basically killed it off enough that the roots came out really, really easy. No need for any uh, stump grinders or anything. So, let's move on to another job that I wanna do today. Right, well, it is time now to get my potatoes uh, ready to chit. Now, I know there's a lot of debate on whether it's worth chitting potatoes. Uh, personally, I believe that potatoes are going to chit anyway, so I'd sooner do it in a controlled environment. So I'm placing my, my potatoes, my seed potatoes that is, in these baskets here in this greenhouse. And that is hopefully going to lead them to chit just nicely and ready to go out to be planted on March the 17th. That's whenever I always plant my potatoes. St. Patrick's Day is a way to remember it for me. So nothing complicated. We've got six different varieties here. There may be more that follow in the future. And I've selected these because I've had good results growing these ones in the past. And uh, they just simply stand up in here in order to grow some chits ready to be planted. It's simple as really. As I said, I know there are lots of different people who might have some different thoughts on whether or not it's worth chitting potatoes. So if you chit your potatoes, let me know in the comments if you do and why. And uh, also let me know what varieties of potatoes you're gonna be growing this year. Oh, well, that has got my potatoes starting to chit. Now I said earlier, the reason I always chip my potatoes is because they've started sprouting anyway and I'd sooner get that under control. So I know there's a lot of debate whether or not it's worth chitting. And for those that don't know, we chit potatoes to get them growing a little bit earlier so they get a better start, particularly with first early potatoes. But the argument I always hear against chitting is that farmers don't bother chitting. But ch farmers generally have much better storage than what we do at home. So, as I said, let me know in the comments if you chit your potatoes or not, and what varieties of potatoes you are growing. Uh, we'll be back again next time, so until then, please take care.